And that's part of this whole defining your sales process. Like when somebody comes to your website, what do you want them to do? Then what? Then what? Um, if somebody comes to your, your website on their mobile device, maybe that is different than if they are coming um, on a desktop. Um, like directions might be more important if they're coming, you know, when you talk about the pizza place, well, if they're on their mobile, it's possible that they're looking for directions because they want to come to the place. So you got to kind of think of um, when they're coming to your website, what do you want them to do? And then what? And then what? And then you just map out these different things and make sure that one thing is a priority and the then what is the second thing, not competing because you don't want too many things. And it's so easy. I, I do it with my own stuff. Like I want them to do everything. And you got to like step back and maybe even have somebody else come to your website rather than you, maybe somebody not that works with you, somebody that's completely unrelated to anything that you do and have them go to it and get have them tell you and give you some feedback on that. Um, and that's probably gonna give you more because you have your own blind spots when you get too used to um, your project, too used to what you're doing, it's really easy to overlook that.